In this video lecture, we're going to continue our discussion about optimization in Python and SciPy, and specifically how do you enforce equality constraints in an optimization problem. So we're going to be looking at this optimization problem with a nonlinear objective function. We also have this nonlinear equality constraint. So our problem is, uh, it starts out as a two degree of freedom problem. We have our degrees of freedom x0 and x1 but we're actually we take away one of those degrees of freedom by having this equality constraint we graphed this last time but this is the basic optimization problem we're going to be solving so we are showing our our solution space here in these two dimensions where the contour lines are the values of our objective function and then this curved black line this represents where our equality constraint is so uh, you can probably see by inspection that it's going to be here but uh, often when you're using optimization solvers you may be solving much much more complex problems than this where you can no longer visualize this because often the problems you're solving might have uh, many dimensions that you can't plot. So we're going to open up our Jupyter Notebook and I'll just walk you through some of the code to do this. So we just, um, if you want to follow along this is where I Define, I, I import the toolboxes we'll need, NumPy and Matplot library for the plotting. Uh, define the ranges of our different decision variables and use this mesh grid command. Here's where we define our cost function or our, our objective function and where we uh, make that first plot. Then we add our uh, constraint function on there and plot it as well. Um, so now we're going to dig into the optimization. So we're going to be importing uh, from scipy.optimize, we're going to import this minimize function. So first we define our objective function. It has these two decision variables, x0 and x1. Our objective function has this input, which is a vector x, which is going to contain x0 and x1. So our objective function, ultimately you'll pass in essentially guesses of uh, different values in our decision uh, variable vector. Then we parse those out just to make the code a little bit more readable um, into these different names. We define our objective function here and that is what our objective function returns. It's just values of the objective function. Now we want to define our constraints function. So our constraints function also has the same input vector x. Um, we parse it out into x0 and x1, and here we just define that uh, equality constraints function. And just to be consistent with the nomenclature that I've used, I'm going to use a g to represent an, e an equality constraint. So we have x0 plus 3 cubed minus x1, that all has to equal 0. So we want to solve for the the point at which our objective function is minimized while also satisfying the constraint that this uh, g function ends up being 0. So we have our bounds here where x0 has to be between minus 5 and 1 and then x1 has to be between minus 3 and 3. We have to define an initial guess. We're just going to use the origin x0 equals 0 and x1 equals 0. So this is an important distinguishment to make. We have to tell our constraints function what type of constraint. So we've defined our constraints function here and we just have one constraint and we just tell it uh, this is an equality constraint. So we just use this type EQ here and uh, we then uh, compile everything. We tell it that we want our optimal solution to be the minimum of our objective function. Starting with a particular initial guess, we are going to use this uh, sequential least squares programming solver um, to solve this problem. We tell it to honor those bounds and to honor our constraints. So let's go ahead and solve this. So we print out our optimal solution, um, and this object tells us the value of our objective function. So at our optimum value, our objective function is, has a value of minus 0.61, essentially. We can also go down here and say oh, this, this uh, was successful, and it found our optimal point with x0 is uh, minus 2, and x1 is 1.012. All right, so this part of the code here is just going to plot it. It's the same uh, plot commands as before. We're just going to plot our objective function with our equality constraint here. I'll zoom out so you can see all the code in case you're interested. 
So we plot our equality constraint, and now we're just adding in to plot this one point, this optimal point. So we're, we're just plotting our optimal solution, opt.x0 and opt.x1. So when we look at this, so this did it seem to be what our intuition showed us, that it finds our, we have to honor this equality constraint, so our solution follows along this constraint and it finds the place where both the constraint is satisfied and we also achieve the minimum value of our objective function along this constraint.